What's good with y'all boys? You already know it's one dog. Come catch you another video, man. Before we start the video, I'll praise you to the most high God. Make sure you guys give me a like to your Lord and Savior, Yahshua. I'll praise you to Elohim. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the video. It's gonna help the channel grow. Let's start straight into it, man. Three bad habits. All handsome men must stop. Handsome men must stop, period, man. Let me tell you guys some these habits most handsome men, typically most handsome men will have, guys, because you know being good looking this is some stuff you're going to run into so let me give y'all some examples well not examples but let's hop straight into it number one hanging around non-select men do not hang around non-select men develop you a select circle you need to be hanging around men who have the exact same experiences with women that you have every guy that i hang around guys every guy that i hang around have the same rule that i really have you know obviously let's get the cat out of the bag let's get the Let's get let's get this out the way right now. Nothing is wrong with cold approach. I cold approach and I see it bad. It's simple. But look, most guys that I hang around, they don't even cold approach. They have a rule of she ain't approaching first and she ain't applying no pressure. Then I'm not really finna press the issue, guys. Every guy that I hang around, stories after story, smash after smash, they tell me how the girl is approaching them first. They giving me the same exact, same exact scenarios and stories that I get myself. So you shouldn't be hanging around non-select guys. I'm telling you right now, hanging around non-select guys, all you are essentially doing is lowering your value. People are going to be wondering, why the hell are you hanging around these guys, these lame-ass guys, man? Of course, guys can get girls, you know, get a lot of girls, and they can still be non-select. You know what I'm saying? Some guys just, listen, guys, I'm telling you right now, man, you want to hang around guys who have similar very similar likewise minded like you that likewise live kind of the same life as you not exact same everybody not gonna live the exact same life but you get what i'm saying if you are hanging around these non-select ass dudes you are destroying your image you are destroying your image select men are very you know well taken care of they well spoken guys they just act like men these non-select dudes don't act like men guys they act like little ass kids man they act like little ass boys you know, they don't act like they don't act like a guy who gets, you know, a lot of attention from women. You know, a lot of women, they don't have they don't act like guys who don't have problems in the dating game. They act like little ass boys that are heard of with women that just, you know, go for anything that they can get. And you don't want to hang around guys like that, man. You want to keep your circle as select as possible, guys. When you have select men around, you become more successful. You know what I'm saying? You will have an easier time out in public and places like that i'm telling you this right now man if you do not have a select circle you are have listen you are doing yourself a disservice guys you are doing yourself a disservice don't hang around nobody who ends to select you're wasting your time and you don't want to have anybody in your circle like that guys because eventually those old non-select guys are going to start to hate on you yeah i'm telling you guys right now let me give you guys some real game hanging around non-select guys you know what you are doing you are say for instance you are dating any girl you know you have a rotation whatever you setting yourself up to be in a very rude situation with that said non-select friend you're gonna damn near probably smack them because the reason being is those non-select guys do these things and you guys know what i'm talking about number one they be hating on you like a boy they hate on you hate on you like a mug you know what i'm saying number two they'll go behind your back and try to talk to your girl you know what i'm saying a lot of guys, not of those non-select men, they'll try to get the scraps of their homeboy who got it easy with girls, man. They'll try to sit here and get the scraps. Or even, for example, let's say you're a handsome guy and you know you have a relationship. Nothing is wrong with that, man, as long as you're the, the alpha of it. Like, that's all that really matters, man. You're not going to literally go to hell for having a relationship. Forget what the ever hell another human got to say about it. But the point is, non-select guy will try to go for that girl you're in a serious relationship with. Say, for instance, you got a baby mama. They'll try to go for the baby mama. Try to go for your own baby mama, guys. This is how it is. When you are hanging around non-select dudes, this is the type of stuff you put yourself into. So I'm telling you guys right now, as a handsome, attractive guy, you on your purpose, you grinding and growing, you clean, cut, cool, and collect. You shouldn't be hanging around none of these non-select ass dudes. These non-select ass dudes don't bring nothing but trouble to you. I'm telling you this, guys. They are haters. A lot of people are like, oh, you get rid of fake friends, man. The reason why you got fake friends is because you better than these dudes. You better than these niggas. That's why you got fake friends. You are better than these niggas. Whenever you have fake hating friends, friends doing all this fake stuff, all this crazy stuff, trying to compete, you know, trying to do all this stupid stuff, man, hating on your grind, more than likely, guys, you are better than them mentally, spiritually, physically. 
You're better than them, guys. Get the hell away from those non-select dudes, man. I don't know how many friends I've had to cut off. I'm not saying I cut them off completely, but the point is I don't hang around them. I don't really hang around them like that, guys. I'll converse. You know, every blue moon, guys, you might see me step out, have a drink with them or something like that. But other than that, guys, I don't hang around these dudes at all, really, man. Most of the time, I keep my distance, 95% of the time. Obviously, guys, I have grace with people. If somebody wants to hang around me, I keep that to a minimum, though. You're not going to see me around them as much, much at all. So I'm telling you guys right now, do not hang around these select dudes. Limit your time around them. I understand, guys, that you have built relationships and friendships, and it's cool. I'm not saying that you have to completely go cold turkey. You can have a phone conversation with them, you know. You can hang around them every blue moon, like I said, guys every blue moon i recommend only hanging around them once twice a year guys keep it to a minimum because the respect factor will grow when it's like that you know have grace with people man still have love for people but keep that to a minimum once twice a year guys once twice a year you know no more listen no more than once a month you feel me so understand that man you got to get rid of these non-select guys these non-select guys come with all type of all type of problems guys all type of just bad energy you don't want to be around bad energy man you don't want to be around around bad energy guys i'm telling you right now as a handsome guy you need all the positivity around you that you can get because if not you're going to struggle you're going to have a hard time in public out in the real world and you don't want to do that so i'm telling you guys right now it's very important your circle is very important as a handsome guy your circle is very important man you got to realize something when you are out and about people are paying attention who you hanging around? Who you know? Who you talking to? They paying attention to all that, guys. You need to be around other select men. I can't stress this enough. You a handsome guy. You around all these non-select dudes. People gonna be looking at you crazy. This is gonna start to lower you down. That's how it is, man. Image is everything. Number two, understanding the attention you get, guys. When you walk into a room, everybody is looking at you. These girls, dudes. I mean, these dudes' girlfriends are staring at you, guys. All of these people are staring at you. They looking at you. They seeing how nicely well you dress. They seeing how good you look, guys. They're looking at that and they're all like, don't underestimate the amount of tension you are getting. You can feel the whole entire shift of the room staring at you, guys. I'm not saying you're going to see feel everybody in the damn room staring at you. But what I'm saying is you're going to see a vast majority of the people when you walking around, they're going to be turning their heads looking at you. Turning their heads looking at you, seeing who the hell this is. Who is the hell is this? Who is the hell is this guy? This guy is too clean, man. You're going to see a vast majority of the attention. I'm going to say at least 40% of the attention in the room. You're going to see that, guys. Understand that. So never underestimate the amount of attention you get, guys, because the attention, what comes to that attention is a lot of hate, a lot of envy, guys, a lot of just disdain for you guys because they're seeing how you got the sauce, man. How you clean, cool, cut, and collect. They seeing that. And that's pissing them off guys that's pissing a lot of other dudes a lot of jealous dudes off and you have to understand that man never underestimate the amount of attention you get guys when i pull up in that green charger i hop out with this clean ass line with blackout all over my hairline man with the pencil on there you think i don't feel these dudes hating you think i don't see they dudes you see that girl staring you know what i'm saying you think i don't see these dudes mapping me out you think i don't see that it's trying to scope me out look at me you think I don't see that? I'm coming cool, got some nice J's on. You think I'm not watching these dudes stare at me like I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm always looking. You never underestimate the amount of attention you get, guys. You get wanted attention and unwanted a one, and a attention, man. These dudes will be so mad at you because they see that girl staring at you, guys. They see other girls staring at you. Never underestimate that attention, man. Number three and final being too nice as a handsome guy you're going to get tested you're going to get a lot of hate coming towards you guys you're going to be antagonized a lot you're going to be shamed and you have to stand up for yourself i'm not saying you got to be some hard ass or anything like that guys but you have to stand up for yourself as a handsome guy i'm telling you right now you will have to stand up for yourself so much people will hate on you so bad and the only people to understand is is the people who actually are attractive attractive women attractive guys People will hate on you so damn bad. People will just have a, a just a bad, bad vibe towards you. And you can't be too nice about that, man. If y'all heard me growling some stomach, whatever, I'm fasting. But 
You have to stand up for yourself, guys. Dudes will be haters. Even some women will be haters saying, oh, you ain't all that, this and that, oh, this and that, the third. Getting an attitude with you just because you're so clean, cool, and collect. I'm telling you this, man. Don't be too nice, man. Stand firm. Somebody tests you, you check it. Somebody tries to attempt. Now, I'm not saying you got to be some hard ass, guys. Only do it if you know you're going to be able to come out on top in the situation. You feel me? Be very wise in certain situations, guys. You don't have to be a hard ass. You know what I'm saying? But check certain small things, man. Certain small things that go on, you're going to have to check it, guys. Or simply withdraw yourself from the situation, you feel me? Because a lot of people are going to try to test you because nobody, listen, not everybody is good looking. A lot of people are average looking. A lot of people don't want to put in the work. They don't want to get the physique. They don't want to work on their face, their body, their teeth. They don't want to work on that. They just want to be the same, work a crack ass job, work a, or work a lame ass job, look basic as hell, and that's it. And they want everybody else to be like that and be miserable right with them. Miserable loves, misery loves company. So understand that, guys. You can't be, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to realize something. Being handsome, most of the time, handsome guys are going to have some nice they driving in. They're going to be so clean, well-dressed. They're going to be smelling real good. They're going to have the attention of all these girls. They're just going to be overall in a better position in life than most other men. You know what I'm saying? As a handsome guy, when you are constantly improving your looks, you're improving your life as well. Actually, becoming good looking, that just overall improves your whole life. Guys, my life started to change when I started to overall become more attractive. My life started to change. I started to prioritize becoming better in life. And guys, when people see that, they go to hate. So you got to be willing to check things. Do not be nice. Don't be nice, guys. Be very firm. Be very firm and don't be easily moved. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand this because if not, you, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have a lot of problems. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, man, I know this video was probably, it, it, listen, it's probably going to be a good one. It's probably going to strike home for a few of y'all because I know a lot of y'all probably needed this. But look, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like button or subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Love y'all boys, and I'm out.